Hey guys, what's going on? This is Atarva here, back with another episode on the channel. And today we are going to see how to test using Jest. So Jest is a testing library for React. And today we are going to see how to use it. We are going to look at the basics. So for testing, we have made a simple percentage calculator. So you can just add your number. For example, we can check what is 40 out of like 80. And this should give us result as 50%. So we are going to test this and uh, when we run the test, it should check if it's giving the correct percentage or not. And we will check that using our tests. So here's the code. I'll leave the GitHub repository in the description. You can just go ahead and clone this and uh, you should have this app. We won't focus on creating the actual app in this video. We'll just focus on testing. So and uh, we, we have all of these things here. We will need to add like a few things. So let's go ahead and try to add a test ID. So why we are doing this? Because we need to identify all these elements. We need to identify the text box and we need to identify the result. So to identify the test, to make it pretty easier, we'll just add a test ID here so that we can identify. So I'll just go ahead and add a data test ID. And this should be equal to number. I'll just give it an ID of number. And then I'll have a data test ID of out of. I'll just have the O in lowercase here. And here let's enclose this percent result into a span so that we can grab it through the code. So span, I'll just paste this in data test ID. This should be result. Perfect. Now there are two ways you can run a test either you have an app.test.js so if you're using create react app you will have this app.test.js file already here but if you do not want to use that you can just create a new folder called tests double underscore tests and again a double underscore and you can you can have any type of files like index.js and you can run your tests here but in this case we are just going to run our test tests in app.test.js it's, it's pretty easy so let's just do that right now so before getting started with the testing actual testing let's go ahead and install a package for just so that it can actually render the components onto its testing dom so to do that just type npm install uh, dash d i'll remove my photo just in case it's coming in middle perfect and uh, the package name is um hold on the package name is react test render react test renderer i'll click enter and they should start installing it now let's go ahead and clean up the entire file we don't need anything we will start from scratch so first of all in whenever you are using jest you need to import this file i'll say import at testing library just dom you don't need to import anything from this file you just need to import this entire file and uh, it should do your thing and now we can just have functions so you don't need to import anything you can just have this function as it is just will do its thing you don't need to worry about anything so in tests you need to give it a module name so here the our module name is like percentage calculator and if you try to read the code it's like in pretty english form of language like anyone can understand it pretty well and you will just understand the code very easily so let's go ahead and this should be have a callback function and here we will make our first te test so it it should render a calculator no render a uh, render a percentage calculator So here, what we will do, we will have this callback function. And uh, here in this, first of all, we need to render and we need to import this from testing library react and uh, we will render the app component. So we need to import the app component. Perfect. And now we can go ahead and check the components. So let's go ahead and check our essential components, which we need. It's the number. It's the out of and it's the result. So let's try to check if the, those are on the screen, right? So let's do that. So I'll add a comment, check if components are render. 
and I'll say expect I'll say screen and we need to actually import the screen so whenever you are rendering a component you all you, are, you can automatically access the screen object and it makes things very easier then we can use get by test id and the test id is number uh, github copilot come in in clutch so get by test id number and then we expect so expect this element to be in the document so this is what it means we can just copy this and paste it two more times we will say uh, out of and here we will say result perfect now let's go ahead and try to run this test so i'll go ahead and uh, open a terminal and in this terminal i'll say npm run test and uh, when i hit enter this should start testing now this says one passed because of course all of the extent expectations were true so imagine if one of this component didn't exist so if imagine one of those wasn't rendered so if i remove the data test id and simulate the not rendering process and let's check here it says one failed because it didn't get it now if we just put it back in here and check the test has passed successfully this is how tests work now we will act, we will check the actual functionality of the calculator so i'll say it should calculate percentage correctly and this should be a callback function and now we need to first of all set the values so okay th so this is giving all of the stuff here but we will not follow that please go away okay <laughs> render app perfect so i'll just go ahead and get rid of this manually because it doesn't want to okay so okay okay let's just run through the code so five event dot change so we are going to get the test id number so which is the text box in the code and we are going to change the value to 100 except copilot messed this up and we need to provide an integer so for this case we'll just write 10 and uh, we need to change the value of out of text box and we need to set it to 20 for example so it should be also be an integer because it's an input type number so now fire event dot click and now this should click the button then we need to expect and uh, expect usually throws a result of the test so if expect is fall the test fails automatically so expect screen dot get by test id result so we will go ahead and check the result box and it should have the percentage and um, if it will check the text content and if it is 50 percent in this case there should not be a percent sign then the test will pass so let's go ahead and check again now it says two passed so uh, let's go ahead and s rig the calculator i guess so if i go ahead and change the formula here like if i just go ahead and do it like a thousand this sh test should fail automatically you see now uh, the test failed so if if something is wrong with your core it will automatically pop in, in your tests so if i just get it back to 100 the test should pass so this is how tests work in react using jest this is very simple tests are very easy it's like basically simulating the entire dom and just entering the values and pressing a button and um, it should do its thing it's pretty easy and uh, if you are making a big project it's very important for you to create tests because whenever you push to github or deploy your application those tests will be run and you will be informed if something is wrong and you, you would be able to fix it pretty easily and quickly so that's it for this episode i might come up come up with a new episode upon tests maybe using cypress or something else but for now i'm uh, this is all i have got if you have any questions just leave them in the comments below uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want more content from me regarding testing regarding next years regarding react and i'm also going to push some web3 content here so make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out on anything make sure you like the video and i'll see you guys in the next video bye